welcome everybody and we are fired up for another sensational college football matchup nobody at home today who can stake their claim in this neutral side showdown while this game caps off the regular season how that season is remembered will be impacted greatly by what happens in this game as we'll see the number two team in the country the ohio state buckeyes taking on the sixth ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Take a chance and bring it out. That gamble did not pay off. Down at the 12-yard line. The offense lining up for a first down play. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. This offense already in the black zone, a little bit backed up. How do they want to respond? They come out to throw the football, be aggressive. And this defense was ready, and they got pressure on the quarterback and got a sack in the very first snap. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. Well, guys, bowl season is here. Always fun to get these non-traditional matchups that you don't see regularly. What do you guys remember about playing in a bowl? I think you remember all the moments throughout the season and throughout your career, and it's the last time that you ever get these group of individuals together. You say goodbye to so many people, and, it, and it's kind of bittersweet, but always fun, Jesse, uh, to, do, uh, to dance with your boys one last time. But another thing, too, I love the swag bags, personally. I love getting the gifts. Yeah, I mean, to me, David, really, it was thinking about the tradition and history of these bowl games. I think that's one of the best things about college football. We're in an era today where bowl games don't matter as much as they did back when you and I played, but it was special to take the field with your guys one more time, but playing in games that had so much history. Offense in a split backfield. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. To the ground with the back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. David, given the fact that you are a devoted helmet head, I'm not sure that you're aware there are a lot of other festivities around the bowl game. Did you ever experience any of that? Of course I'm a helmet head. Yeah, spot on. Agree with that. But here's the thing. We did a meat-eating contest at the Outback Bowl my senior year. What squad could eat more steak from Outback? It was absolutely amazing. So I experienced that in all of its career. Good, solid tackle. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for him every single play. Now he's going to throw it all the way back across the field. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Bama! And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double check to make sure. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the finisher coming on that 42-yard touchdown toss. He's going to try his luck from the end zone. Makes a move. He's got it out. Can they catch him? He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Buckeyes. He just took it the entire length of the field, end to end, coast to coast, nationwide for the touchdown. And how about the fans in the stands going, no, 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 take a knee, take a No, yes, 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 yes. Over 100 yards for the kickoff return. Nice job taking that in. 
zone and make it a huge play. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. He's able to work his way across the 25 to the 26 before going out of bounds. The tied offense rolls onto the field. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? Got out of trouble and throws. Makes the catch. It's Bernard. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Every good quarterback is first a game manager. At Alabama, that used to be sort of a, a label of derision, but now they're not only that, they're playmakers. Yeah, and it's what they used to ask them to do. Like, like they were very comfortable handing the ball off, running the ball, controlling the clock, you know, trying to keep your defense fresh. Nah, bro. If you can't score points now, if you can't get first downs and go get me touchdowns, you're not going to be on the field. Back to throw. It's Milrow. Using his feet to buy time. And he tries to get away, but he cannot. He's taken down. He'll lose a couple. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Corners are walked up tight. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Now moving to his right, looking for anyone that's open. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. They make the stop, but not before he wraps up this first period with a huge game. They'll try to open the quarter by cashing in on this big opportunity deep in the red zone. On the move. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. It's just so nice to have a signal caller who can make plays through the air and make plays with his feet like this. Runs in for the touchdown. The defense knows I have to account for him every play. That's my quarter. And he had the extra point to finish the drive. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. He gets a block. He's on the loose. He is electric in the return game, and that one has the offense set up nicely. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, He's off to the races. Touchdown, Ohio State. And once he got loose, it was all over. The AT unit on the field. Bangs it through for an extra point. What a way to send a message. Huge play in the running game. One snap, and you've got a touchdown on the board. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. Looking for a productive play on first down. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Miller. And they pick up just a few on that completion. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese, they can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry, they're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss, he can take it to the house. Know the situation, know the game of football, right? When I start to get outside the pocket, I don't see anything there. I can throw the ball away. I don't have to take a sack get a lost yardage play I can just throw the ball out of bounds as long as it passes the line of scrimmage we go on to the next down no harm no foul on the move at the 30 
He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking to throw it again. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. He's going to fire to the left. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. To the air. It's Milrow. He was looking for that big return to go with the pick, but he'll set him up in business at the 36. Great spot to start this drive for the offense. Trying to find his man on first down. Dances away from the heat. Just couldn't find an open man. He'll get rid of it, and it'll be second down. A nice job by the quarterback there. You're outside the pocket, nobody's open, so you throw the ball away knowing that you still have more chances to get this first down. They'll go to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. That play had zero shot. They gotta do a better job up front, creating some running lanes. The running back before he could go anywhere, getting tackled, nowhere to go. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Pulls it in. It's a Buka. And a big hit at the end, but it didn't stop him from getting the first down. And the Buckeyes will line it up on first and ten. He wants to throw. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have let him a little too much. Play didn't go as planned. Now second and ten from the 26. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still just a very short game. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll go to the sideline and try to make adjustments. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. They'll send out the kicker here. The kicker will try to punch one through from 41 yards away. Splits the uprights right down the middle. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the beat. So they put the field goal on the board and about to kick it away, and hoping that'll be the final points of this first half. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes that Alabama offense. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. Steps away. And he will wisely throw it to the kid playing the tuba. And that goes down as incompletion, but that's a smart play. And the QB coach and the OC would be very happy with the decision of the quarterback. He got outside the pocket. He obviously was so he's outside the tackle boxes. He knew he could throw it away as long as he got it past the line of scrimmage. Nothing there, nothing open. And that ball is picked off. Takes it the other way. Running inside the 20. And he's going to run it all the way back. Touchdown, Buckeye. What a game-changing play for this defense. Stepping in front of the football and knowing what to do with it, taking it all the way to the end zone. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. From inside the 10, here he comes. He had visions of glory on that return, but he'll step out of bounds at the 29. The tied offense rolls onto the field. 
The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops follow and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. Moves around to clear up the vision. Now he'll turn one loose back to the middle. A sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. They're looking to pass from the red zone. Pass falls incomplete, and there are still three seconds left. In the closing moments of the first half, they'll try to put a three spot on the board. Between the uprights, it's good. Got things teed up and just about ready to go here in the second half. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes that Alabama offense. And they're trailing on the scoreboard right now, but they are very much in the mix to finish this season with a bowl win. Yeah, and I think you look at bowl games, sometimes there's a little bit of rust in the first half. That's what you talk about at halftime. Now, we get the ball, we're down. Let's go make a statement to start this second half. We're here. We're going to do some damage. But here's the thing. They're in this bowl game because they're explosive on offense. It takes only one play. There's still lots of football left to be played. If they get this confidence going, they get into a rhythm, watch out. And he throws another interception, his third of the night. Got room on the return. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. And that's why as quarterbacks, you cannot telegraph the pass. You cannot stare down your receivers because these defenders, they're watching it. And that defender knew exactly where the QB was going with that football, and that's why he picked it off. Let's it go to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, 